Okay, here's the farm without uh, <laughs> any block interference. So you can see how it works. Uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, this one is actually better than the one I did on uh, the Craftaway server. The one on, on Craftaway, I just sort of threw it together. Uh, oh, let me turn this volume down, it's very loud. Um, I just sort of threw it together and I didn't really pay attention to how the pistons are synced. In fact, they're not synced. Uh, but in this one, they're all synced perfectly. So the ones on this side uh, all go at the same time and the ones on these sides go all at the same time. Uh, so, and because of that, they don't get stuck. Uh, but on the, the one I built on the Craftaway server, sometimes they'll get stuck in there. And uh, yeah, so here they, they fall down pretty, pretty easily. Um, so it's powered by this clock here and, uh, and you can also turn it off. So if you don't want to lag out your server, <laughs> just turn it off and uh, and then it'll still, um, the blazes will still fall down there, but uh, it, it's just, it's a lot slower and yeah. So let's get into how to build this thing. Okay, so first off, the mechanics of the blaze farm are just like all the other, or blaze farm, <laughs> blaze spawner, are uh, the same as any other ones. So we have this layer, which is the layer where the spawner actually is. And then this layer below it, this layer, and this layer are the layers at which the blaze's legs can spawn. And their heads can spawn up to there. So it's a total of four blocks and the second from the bottom is the one that contains the spawner. So, and they can also spawn four blocks away from the spawner. So, we need all of this area to be open and not occupied by any blocks, okay? So, that's the first thing. So now, the, the biggest problem you're going to run into is lighting it up so that they don't kill you, because blazes can still spawn with uh, light level, I don't know what it is, but uh, if you just do glowstone here, then they won't spawn and that'll light it up just fine. So if you use torches, for some reason, when when I, when I tried to do it and I used torches, they were still spawning like crazy and just, yeah, it was not good. So, um, so yeah, the first thing you want to do is light it up. I put this ceiling here just to let myself know that they cannot spawn above there. Okay, so this is the, the highest they can spawn, is with their legs on, like, as if they're standing on the spawner. And they can spawn as low as this yellow block. Okay? So that's that. So then on the end of the spawners, you're going to, on one side, put two blocks of whatever it is you want, doesn't matter. And then on the other side, you're going to put three blocks. Okay? And then down here, you're going to you're gonna count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks. And on this this thirteenth block, wait, is that right? Did I count that right? Hold on. The spawner is right above this yellow block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes. The thirteenth block down is going to be your killing platform. So put a block there, and this is where the blaze are going to end up uh, standing when you go to kill them. Okay, and I just put this little platform underneath it just, you know, so you have somewhere to stand. So, step one. Step two. <laughs> step two is uh, you're going to put these uh, wool, or it could be anything really. I'm just using wool uh, because this is where the, um, uh, what you call it, the pistons are going to be. Uh, on top of this wool, okay? So on the ones that you did two over there, you're going to put underneath them nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, goes underneath the one where you put two blocks. And same thing on this side, nine, okay? The ones where you put three blocks, one, two, three, you're going to put seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Same thing on the other side. That's going to be seven. Okay, now, um, when you build it, you're probably going to want to put the pistons on top of them, or in front of them, on top, yeah, sorry, I can't talk, <laughs> uh, at, at the same time that you do this, uh, but um, anyway, so what you could do is, uh, underneath the nine, and up a block, okay, you can, you can do something like that, uh, so down here, 
uh, you're gonna put seven, okay? So it's gonna go nine here, right? Because that's where you had the two. And then where you have the three, you're gonna have seven. And then you're also gonna go and do seven underneath the nine and in front a block and down a block, okay? And then mirror it over on that side, okay? So this, this side is identical to this side and this side is identical to this side, okay? So, yeah, so it just staggers down. Go down two blocks and in one block and put seven. And then down two blocks, in one block, five. Down two blocks, in one block, three, okay? And now this one, it's gonna be seven, five, three, and then one at the very bottom, okay? So that's where you're gonna put your wool, all right? Or whatever block you wanna use. I, I like to use wool, just just so I can know where everything goes. <laughs> so then, on top of all that wool, you're just gonna put pistons. Regular old pistons, no sticky pistons, just regular old pistons on top of that wool. Easy, right? So that's pretty much it. Now, all you gotta do is just wire them up. So, um, I put the glass in here, obviously, because you don't want the blaze to fall out. Um, now, on the server, I used, uh, I used stone brick, because uh, I didn't have glass, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, but in this case, for tutorial purposes, I use glass just so that you could see through it a little bit. Uh, so hopefully you can get a better idea of, of what to do. So on top of all of these pistons here, the seven, the row of seven, I just covered all that with glass. And same thing on that side. So remember, the opposite sides are the same. So I'll just talk about these two. So we're going to put glass on top of there, and then glass on top of there glass on top of there you get the idea going all the way down on top of all the pistons and in these corners so it'll be staggered like this going all the way down and eventually they will fall into the the central point so okay so now we need to uh, put some wool behind all the gray uh, wherever you had gray wool before Throw down some white wool, or whatever block you want. I'm just color coding it to make it easy. So, wherever you had gray wool, put down white wool and cover it with redstone. Okay? Going all the way around. Alright? Uh, now, the next thing we want to do is build the clock. Okay? So, the clock is, is really simple. Uh, it's just a block here with a torch there. And you could even, you know, decorate it like this. Right? And there's, there's a, a million ways to make clocks, uh, but I ended up using this one because it's really small, it's very simple, and all it is is a block right there with a lever on it, a torch coming out of the side, and then coming out of the torch, you're going to want a repeater facing that way with some redstone dust there, redstone dust there, and then another repeater going into this block and put both of those on four ticks of delay, okay? So all the way down, one, two, three, four, all the way down on both of them. And that gives the pistons enough time to open and close and gives the blazes enough time to float down, uh, you know, uh, so, that they, so that they get caught. And then I even ran a little uh, redstone line here into this block, so this will start flashing whenever it's turned on, like that. See? It flashes. <laughs> and then you have our output of the clock coming over here where we are going to build a uh, redstone torch tower carrying the signal all the way up. So, uh, the next thing to do is, oh yeah, dress it up. <laughs> next step, dress it up, make it look good. Why not? Why not? <laughs> that was kind of a pointless step. I don't know, when I, when I made these, uh, I don't know, I wasn't thinking. Or I was thinking too much, I guess. <laughs> so now I'm using, uh, for all the repeaters and all of the extra bits that tie it all together, I'm using the yellow, uh, yellow wool. So uh, right over here, uh, you're going to want this in a very specific place, okay? So this is going to be, uh, let's see, your tower is going to be right here, okay? This is where it's going to come up to. So where you have your nine, your row of nine, you're going to want one, two, oh, batteries are running low. <laughs> uh, you're going to want one, two, and then three. Okay, so this is where the top of your tower is going to be. So come all the way down to where your redstone line ends, right here. 
and just bring the tower all the way up like this and you're going to want to cap it with a with a block right there uh, let me plug my computer in real quick because it's telling me my battery is dead and it would be a big shame if it shut off right in the middle of a video <laughs> there we go okay so uh yeah so go ahead and build your torch tower up like that uh, start with the block first then the torch block torch block torch block torch block torch block all the way up there and then what you're going to want to do is put a block right there in front of this uh, uh, this wool here and basically the signal is going to wrap around and sort of spiral down like that okay so uh, we're gonna want one there and then down here on this end we're gonna want this L shape okay to connect those together and then over here we're gonna want another L shape connecting it back up to this one and then another L shape here and on this one we we don't use the L shape because we've got this torch here so on this second layer we're actually gonna borrow a signal again from the tower okay from the second to the last torch coming right there and then again here we're gonna have another L shape L shape L shape like that so basically they are L's all the way down on every corner um, and this third one again L shape we, we're not gonna borrow a signal here uh, it's just yeah that's it so just get these L shaped uh, pieces of wool in there and that's where we're gonna put our repeaters to make sure everything is timed correctly so then once we get the repeaters in, this is the last step, and then you're all done. Uh, so we start from this top one here, and we don't need a repeater here. This is going to fire instantly. Uh, so here we need eight, a total of eight ticks of delay. Okay, so two repeaters uh, set to maximum delay is eight ticks. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Eight ticks here. And then over here, you're going to want 10 ticks of delay. Okay, so we have three repeaters. These two are on maximum delay. This one is on just two. So one, two, right there. Okay. And then over here, we're going to want another eight ticks of delay. And then over here, we're going to borrow from this one, remember? So this one also needs 10 ticks of delay. Okay, and then you could just run it up into here like that. And then this one is once again going to be eight ticks. So every corner um, on this corner and that corner over there, okay, where we have the row of nine pistons, every corner over here is going to be eight ticks of delay. See, we have eight, and then here we have eight, 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 okay? And then on all of these corners, we're going to have ten. See, we have ten. See, there's four four, four, two ticks on that one. Okay, so on all of these corners, we're going to have 10 ticks of delay. Okay, and then on this corner, again, just like the one on the other side, we're going to have eight ticks of delay on all of these. Okay, and then once we get over here, uh, this one we have no delay because we're borrowing 10 ticks from here, but these two here are just like in the back there these are also gonna have 10 ticks okay so when you're looking at it from here from the side of the redstone clock all of these corners are eight ticks all of these corners are 10 ticks all of these corners are eight ticks all of these corners are 10 ticks okay so eight ten eight ten and that's pretty much it and now when you turn it on all the pistons should fire uh, synced up perfectly so we'll have yeah, that's it. Now this one is going to start before the one on the other side when you first turn it on, but it really doesn't matter. It's completely inconsequential. So there's no delay here. Uh, so this one fires and then uh, 18 ticks later that one fires at the exact same time that this one fires its second time. So that's it. Yeah, so uh, it works quite well and uh, yeah. Now this is this is just how I did it. I'm sure that there are probably more efficient uh, uses of, of resources to make a blaze farm. I'm, there's probably better designs out there, but this is just how I did it. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, 
please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll make some more content like this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.